All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back with another video. And Lord willing, it's edifying and exhorting unto the Spirit. And I want to talk about the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. And you have the, the wacky tacky Christians. Okay. And I'll say this. At one point in time, majority of the brothers that you see teaching this word that has been woken up to this truth. Believed in that madness. We believed in the uh, some brothers more than others, you know. But we were a part of it. And some brothers more than others believed in that whole Christian or Christianity uh, doctrine okay now dealing with the kingdom of heaven you know you really don't get a clear for the coming person that's involved in uh christianity i'm not talking about the ones that actually you know go to some type of theological seminary school or that are that are stood the study so-called studied individuals but for the most part, the people, the average so-called Christian, okay, they don't have a clear understanding on what the kingdom of heaven is. Neither do the so-called study individuals, the ones that's supposed to be on a scholarly level. They don't know any anyway, you know, or they don't know either, but they 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 speak as if they know what they're talking about, okay. And I want to go through the scriptures, a few scriptures that I have, maybe maybe a more maybe a little more than a few, that it, that explains what the kingdom is and who the kingdom is for, which is really saying two things. Uh, how can I say it? Saying you know two of the same thing, because who the kingdom is for is who the kingdom is, or what the kingdom is. I'm sorry. Who the kingdom is for, all right, is what the kingdom is. And that is that the kingdom is for the Israelites and the kingdom is the Israelites. All right? And that's what I mean by that. I'm going to say that again. The kingdom is the Israelites and it's for the Israelites, which is, which is saying two and the same things. So I want to go into the book of Acts, the first chapter. Before I do, I want to say this through the, I want to say this. You know, they believe in Christianity, it teaches when, when you die, you either go to heaven or hell. You go up to somewhere in, in the depths of outer space, some mystical grand place that's supposed to be the kingdom. You know, or if you were, if that's if you were, you know, you accepted Jesus in your life. Who the world ignorantly knows is Jesus. His true name is Yahawashai. Then when you die, you go to, to heaven. Somewhere deep out of space. Or if you were wicked and you didn't accept him as your, your savior, then you go to hell where you burn for eternity. Okay, now that's, that's all mythology. That's all right. So when when one dies, you know, no matter what nation you're from, no matter uh, what you did on this planet, whether you did good or evil, good or bad, all spirits go to the same place, back to the spirit world. And let's get, I want to get that real quick before I get into the main point that I want to make which is what the kingdom of heaven is and who the kingdom of heaven is for. So I want to first go to the book of Job. Let to the book of, let's go to the book of Job, the third chapter. Then we'll bring out another precept. This is Job chapter three, and I'm going to start at verse 11. Now, before, Job was catching all type of hell, right? 
that Satan was putting on him so much to the point that uh, Job just wished that he that he wasn't even born. And this is where I'm picking up at Job uh, 3 and 11. It says, why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? All right. And that's talking about, you know, Job saying basically what she was a, a stillborn. All right. A, what is a stillborn? It's when you uh, uh, the fetus, which, you know, the baby before the baby fully develops in the womb of the, the, the mother. It, it dies before it is fully. Uh, for its full development. OK. And when you inside the. Uh, the womb, even though you're alive, you know, the, 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 the baby is alive, right? The baby's not conscious of, of what's going on. The conscience ain't really, is not remembered at that point. Like all of us, we can't remember when we were inside the womb, you know? We can't even remember when we was one, two, two years old, you know? But reading on, it says, why did the knees why did the knees prevent me or why the breast that I should suck for now? Should I have, should I have lain still and been quiet? I should have slept. I mean, and Job just saying, why well, he wish he just stayed in the spirit world. He wish he just hadn't been born. Okay. Then had I been at rest, right? Because, you know, when you're when you're not here on this planet Earth, starting off from a from a baby, you know, then you're in this you're in the spirit world at risk. It says with kings and counselors of the earth, which build desolate places for themselves or with princes that had gold who fill their houses with silver or as an hidden untimely birth. I had not been as infants, which never saw, saw light. Right. So Job was saying, I wish I never came into the, to this world. Okay. And, and been at rest. All right. In the, in the spirit world. Now check out the 17th verse. There, the wicked cease there. Where are you talking about there? There meaning in the spirit world. The same place where Job wish he was. You see? Because he was catching all that horrific hell. It says, there the wicked cease from troubling. And there the weary be at rest. Okay, so all spirits, no matter what you did on this planet, go to the same place. That's to the spirit world. You don't go to the the this heaven that's in the minds of these wacky tacky Christians or you or go to hell. OK, you go back to the spiritual realm. Now, let's further expound on that. I got Ecclesiastes. I'm sorry. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. It says, then shall the dust. Return to the earth as it was and the spirit return unto the most high who gave it. That's when you when we die. OK. Our body, it decomposed back into the to the, the earth. And our spirit goes back to the most high in the, in the spirit, the spirit world. OK, now let's get to the book. Let's get go to the book of Acts. Acts. Hmm. Chapter one. And I'm going to start at verse one, one. It says the former. Trestized. Have I made, O oh, Theopolis, of all that Yahawashai began both to do and teach unto the day in which he was taken up, after that he had, through the Holy Ghost or Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days 
yeah, he dwelt with the apostles 40 days after the the uh, uh, crucifixion, right? Being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of the Most High. So, Yahweh was already had already uh, uh, they already had an idea about the the kingdom. Okay, just based on the Old Testament, the records. You know, Israelites had some of somewhat of an idea that they knew that the kingdom was that Israel was going to be brought out of captivity, delivered out of captivity by the Messiah, and that we we were going to have a, a a kingdom. Okay. And then Yahawashai came on the scene. He he uh told that's why he told the twelve to go and don't preach to the, the Gentiles or don't go into the Gentiles or any uh anyone in the city of Samaria Samaria, the Samaritans go not. Okay, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, meaning what they un what they knew. What they knew according to the records, okay, or what they believed according to the records, the ones that, you know, was waiting, you know, the ones that was looking for the, the coming of the Lord, right? The deliverer tell them that, look, the kingdom is about to come, okay? The things that were written in the Old Testament. And what we know now is the Old Testament. Okay, is at hand. And then after he, you know, after the the uh, him being put to death, say uh, he made him uh where well, the most high sent him to be a sacrifice, right? He dwelt with the apostles for 40 days. And it, right here is saying he was speaking on to them things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye sh shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Meaning, not many days after the Passover, they were going to receive the Holy Spirit, which they received on the uh, day of Pentecost, which Pentecost means pent means uh, fifty. And it's talking about fifty days after the Passover. Okay, they receive the gift of speaking tongues and understanding different tongues, different languages. Right. Verse six it says, "When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord." Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? You see? And what they was asking him was, are you going to take down this Roman kingdom and set up Israel in power? Okay? The actual people, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's what that's, you see, that's exactly what they were saying. They weren't saying, are you going to go and build some a city, you know, some grand city or castle and the city, a castle. And then around the castle is, is the city or the city within the, the castle. You know, he was saying that you're going to restore the king to Israel, to the Israelites, because the Israelites are the kingdom. Right now, let's further prove that. By going to the book of Luke 17 and 20, starting at 20, it says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation, neither shall they say low here or low there, meaning it ain't going to. The kingdom of heaven, he was telling them, look, the kingdom of heaven is not going to be a place you can see. Like a, you can see, oh, look at that city over there. That's the kingdom. Or over here, look at that grand 
majestic uh, castle, for lack of better words, that I can think of at the time. You know, that's the kingdom over there, the glorious uh, uh, kingdom, you know. It says, for behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you which is talking about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, of the scriptures because any kingdom that stood, it wasn't no ragtag uh, common individuals that were um, ruling, meaning for in order for a kingdom to, to, to function, you have to have a ruling body of offices and people to execute certain office, offices to um, take care of the people, okay? Just like here in this kingdom, the uh, the government is in charge of, the people are affected by what the government do. So whatever the, the decisions and, and how they run the government, that, that affects the, the, the common people, the working class, okay? So the same thing for any 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 kingdom, you got to have people that have knowledge, you know, wisdom, knowledge and understanding to, you know, for the kingdom to operate, function. Same thing with, you know, the king, everlasting kingdom, the kingdom of the most high, which is going to be right here on this planet Earth. You have to have. Well, it's going to be ruled through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right? It ain't just going to be the fact that we are in uh, positions of power. We're going to execute the knowledge of this, this, the scriptures on this planet Earth. All right? Now, one more scripture, and I'm going I'm to close this video out. Because, you know, the, the main reason I, I'm doing this video is because I was read or thinking about the book of Acts when the apostles asked Yahweh are you going to restore at this time again the kingdom to Israel he had already they already knew they got to go preach to the Israelites that look the kingdom's coming to us then he went and then and, and after and within 40 days he he expounded on the kingdom to them right so at the time of his departure, you know, they asking him the, his departure back to the spirit world. They asking him, they were asking him, you know, are you going to restore the kingdom again to Israel? They understood exactly what the kingdom was and who it was, who it was for. They didn't say nothing about, are you going to restore the kingdom to all the believers? You know, because the kingdom's not for all nations. They were very distinct in what they they asked the question that they asked now let's go to first or some sorry second peter 2 and 13 and this will be the last verse that i bring out this is a uh, second peter 2 and 13 it says nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth which is talking about new rulership on a uh, earth that's made as if basically a, earth, a depleted earth that's made as new okay a revitalized replenished earth wherein dwelleth righteousness okay and who's going to be the new or who's going to be the new rulership on the planet israel that's why the apostles ask, are you going to, at this time, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? All right. That's why Yahweh commanded the 12 to go out and preach to the Israelites that the kingdom is of, of, of the most high is at hand. All right. Which is going to be, so the kingdom is going to be right here on this planet earth, which is the Israelites ruling. The headquarters will be in the land of Israel and Jerusalem that'll be the headquarters the kingdom is the people the the, the rulership the, the rulers the body of people that's in power
which would be the Israelites, and there's an order to that. From our Lord Yahweh Shai, then King David, throughout the rest of the 144,000 men, okay? That's the, 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 the ruling body or the government body. But all Israel will be royal, you know? But there's a there's a uh, order to that. So Lord willing, you know, this lesson was uh, edifying and exhorting on to the spirit. And this is only for those, you know, this is only for the hopeful elect. You know, the masses are not going to understand or and receive these lessons that's, that are done, you know. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect or the elect. A hey, shalom.